talking to me. I heard Jesus talking to me and it wasn't like out loud, but it was a voice that was not my own. And the words were not my own. And I remember thinking, am I crazy? Like, what is happening right now? And I went into the kitchen and I made dinner and the voice was like, set a place for me. And so I set the table for two and I cooked and I, I didn't serve food on the second plate, but I prepared a second space. And I remember opening the door and like sitting down at the table and speaking out loud to the voice that was asking me questions and having a conversation. And later that night, later that night, I remember randomly opening the Bible and I went, it took me to Revelations 3.20. And I read, yea, though I'd stand at the door and knock. And I was like, you know, I'm from New York. I was like, yo, this just happened. Like I just had a conversation with God and he came in and he ate with me. He didn't eat, but he ate with me and I heard his voice and I talked to him and I saw that scripture after. And that's the first scripture that I ever memorized. And I was like, this is so like, it was undeniable. I'm like, whoa, I had no idea that Christ and the relationship is personal. It's not, it's not somewhere up there. It's personal. It's in the lion's den with you. You know, it is in the fire. It's not like, oh, I'm up here and I'm just hovering and I'm just bestowing. And it's like, it's not fairy dust. God is with you. He's right there with you through it all, every second of every moment of every day, through everything. And there's no mistake that you can't recover from. And there's no sin that makes him love you less. And that was just an astounding, practical moment for me.